Hey, this is Damon from Orion Coolers again. This is Jaeger. We're out today in Tennessee here, just having a good day, a good hike, tire the dog out, give the wife and baby at home a rest. So we're out doing a little small game hunt, a little shed hunting, and we have again now the, the Bear Static K4. So if you saw the other video where I had the K4 kind of just out, getting set up, but I've had it a little longer. I've got a little more customization done to it. So we'll do kind of a run through of what I've done to the bow and, and how that's worked out. Now, brace height, I've kind of set it around seven, seven and a half. This is a Dacron string, so it's going to stretch a little bit. So the more I shoot, it'll start to, it'll start to let go and give it a little bit. So I'll keep an eye on that and adjust it. But right now, seven, seven and a half has been a good starting point. Now what I've done is I've added a, a custom quiver from Thunderhorn Archery. Now, Thunderhorn of Montana can do the custom logos. You can see I have the Orion logo on this one. Um, this is a strap-on quiver, so it just wraps around the limbs. Really nice. This is six arrows. They can do three arrows, six arrows, uh, four, whatever whatever you like. A uh, few different options, but really good quivers. I use their screw-in quiver on my takedown. This is a strap-on here I've added to the K4. But you can see I have added some string silencers. These are just some brown beaver tail or, or beaver fur. And uh, they've done pretty good. Not, it's not a very loud bow because of the brush knocks. Again, there's the uh, close-up of the, the maple and the binga brush knock. You can kind of see it leaves a gap there for brush to move through. Uh, there's some nice black and white fiberglass tips on it. But this has been the setup. It's pretty good for arrows. Now again, I'm out, we're looking for sheds, looking for rabbits, squirrels, whatever he can smell and find, and we're kind of overlooking this basin. So what I might be doing, I might be shooting at stumps, or I might be shooting at a squirrel on the ground or a squirrel in the tree. So I like to have two different setups. Now I have, here's a gold tip, traditional, these are 400s, and these are really heavy than tips I've added. Uh, this is probably about 275 grains, 300 grains, just a field tip, then with a small game collar. And that small game collar helps it from burying too deep if I shoot a stump or if I am shooting a squirrel, it gives it some, some more trauma. Um, but then I won't take a shot at a squirrel high in a tree with that, but I will take a shot sometimes with then a flu flu arrow. Now, flu flus are named that because of, I don't know, necessarily really know why, but they have that nice flu flu looking, I can see the name of fletchings on them. And they're good for aerial shots. If you're practicing throwing foam discs in the air, this is what you're going to be shooting. And what I like to do is then just use a hex head, like from Ace, because I feel like it helps it bust through brush and come back out of a tree better. So I also carry a few of those in the quiver. And that gives me the options of shooting high, shooting low, and being able to just take shots in general. So again, there's the static K4 from Bear. It's been... Fun getting used to shooting it, leather grip. It's worked out pretty good. Mine's around 50 pounds. It's comfortable to draw, easy to shoot a lot of. If you enjoy traditional archery, I encourage you to get out, do some small game hunting. It's a really good practice. It's really fun. Just get out, you know, wait for a season to be over, follow some old deer trails, get out again, look for sheds, look for squirrels, look for rabbits, look for whatever you can see. It's legal where you are. But I'm going to get back to it. Jaeger is getting bored. He's taking a hold of China. So we have a nice base in here. I've seen a couple squirrels hopping on the far wall as the afternoon develops. So I'm going to head that way. And again, if you're looking for more questions on how to set up the K4 or any traditional bow, feel free to comment below or reach out to me, Damon at Orion Coolers. And see you in the woods. Have fun.